guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, and I just thought that I would pop on and do a booktubeathon update for days 1 through 3, so the 15th through the 17th, which is today for me. So it's currently 7.30 on Wednesday, July 17th, and my booktubeathon has been going okay. Uh, I know at the beginning I said that I wasn't participating in any of the challenges and I think that ended up being a good thing for me because I don't think I would have been able to meet any of the challenges anyway. I would have failed miserably at all of them and that probably would have made me feel worse. So on Monday, the first day, I got kind of a late start just from laziness really. So I started off my booktubeathon with Flesh and Bone by Jonathan Mayberry. And this was a good book to start off with because it was like action packed from the first page to the last page. So on Monday I managed to read 99 pages of Rotten Ruin. So I got about there. Then on Tuesday I continued with Rotten Ruin. Since I'm not very good at reading more than one book at once, I don't know, it just messes me up, I think. So on Tuesday I read... 244 pages of Rotten Ruin. So I got to right here. Um, I was so close to 300, guys. So close, but I didn't make it. I didn't. And then today, on Wednesday, I finished Rotten Ruin. So I read 126 pages of it. And it was a really good book. I can't wait for, for the fourth one. Which, it could be the last one. I don't know. But... Guys, one of my characters, one of my really... Jonathan Mayberry has done this to me twice now. In the second book, he he did something to one of my favorite characters. And then at the end of this book, he kind of did something to another one of my favorite characters. I'm not sure. I'll have to wait until the fourth book to see if it really is that way. But, oh, heartbreaking. Come on. But yeah, good book. And so then I went on to The London Eye by Tim LeBon. So far I have read 39, 38, 39 pages of it, so I'm right here. Um, it's not a very long book. It's 229 pages. And it's okay so far. It's supposed to be like a post-apocalyptic, um, well not really, just for London. A terrorist attack thing kind of went down in London and this agent was released, this virus was released, and so London has been sealed off from the rest of England, the rest of the public, but there are rumors that there are people that are still alive there and have developed powers, and yeah, that the military takes these people that are still in London, like grabs them and experiments on them, and stuff like that. So it sounds really cool. I've heard it described as Hunger Games mixed with X-Men. I think that's what they said. Um, and it is okay so far. I, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling like I'm close to the characters because it kind of just throws you in and it doesn't give you a lot of backstory. You're just, you're just right there as they're going into the city that you don't really know much about. But yeah, it's got really small words. But anyway, if I finish this, I don't know when I'll finish this, then I'm going to go on to Eve by Anna Carey, which I just got from the library. And this one is on an interlibrary loan, so I have to read this one faster than my other ones because I won't be able to recheck this one out. So yeah, that's my booktubeathon update. This took much longer than I had originally planned. Um... If you guys are participating, tell me how you're doing, if you're meeting challenges, if you're being awesome, and if you're having fun with Booktubeathon. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you later. Bye!